Hey, what's up, Granos and Granettes? Juan Granos, back again, this time with another review. As always, when a manufacturer or a retailer sends me an item for me to review, I gotta let you guys know, this is a sponsor review. So this review, um, I'm going back to the radio station um, sort of uh, product review. Now, this gadget basically enables you to transmit this is again, this is for people who have radio stations um, or are planning to open up a radio station. So this gadget will um, basically enable you to basically transmit from wherever you are as long as there's an internet connection. Now, the name of the company is called uh, Zerhex and they basically, what they do is they, they produce these little boxes and this is a live audio transmitter and receiver, broadcaster and, and, and receiver. And this is called a Bridge G1. Now, they specialize in this kind of stuff. This particular model is an unbridged version or unlocked version, which meaning you could use it with any radio station, as long as you have shoutcast or icecast um, login information. I'm gonna show you all that stuff. Now, there's a lot to this. There's a lot to this. I had a, a little couple of weeks to play with it and um, I, I was kind of like procrastinating making the video because I'm not sure what I wanna talk to about because there's so much um, information on this product but I'm gonna just go to the let's do the, the, the op unboxing and review right now so first thing we're gonna do is just gonna do a quick unboxing so in the box what you have is obviously you have your um, instructions and the instructions are pretty straightforward um, I mean I'm talking about you know about 10 12 pages of, of pictures and information on how to get it done I'm gonna show you how to get through this really really quick probably without reading this Next thing you have, you have the actual transmitter recorder. So here it is. Very cool, it's very simple product. So you got here are your ports here. I have it upside down, no, okay. So you got your ethernet port, which you need to plug in. It's not wireless, it's, it's not uh, you know wireless, it's not Wi-Fi, it's just ethernet. Um, you got your power port right here, and you got your audio output and input. So you have two of them, audio um, output and input. Um, in the front, you have a couple of um, things. You have, first of all, you have a slot here to put an SD card, um, and that's for buffering. So you could actually record your show on the box and then upload it to your podcast. Very cool. Again, this is all done through a, a, a uh, interface on, on the website, and I'm gonna show you guys how that works. Um, you have a transmit and a receive button, of course. Okay, I'm sorry, let me just continue with the unboxing. So you got your power cord, and that's it. That's all you need. now. Let me tell you why this is so cool. If you have a radio station, let's say here in New York, I have a radio station, and I have four different DJs, one in California, one in Texas, one in Florida, one in Chicago, right? And they all want to um, uh, broadcast to my radio station, right? Now, they're the type of DJs that maybe they go to a club. They go to a club at night and they, they, they want to transmit their, their gig from the club. All they need to take is this little bad boy right here. You don't need an additional computer. You will set this up on the on the online so they could transmit as soon as they plug in. So as soon as they plug in the Ethernet wire and they plug in their their um, power port on um, the power wire, this box is already set. All they gotta do is hit play wherever they're at. Plug in, you know, your 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 little wire here, boom, 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 from your from your deck, and you're ready to go. Now, like I said, on um, this particular box has a ton of features and when I tell you a ton of features I, I don't I'm not sure if I'm gonna get through all them in the show but I'm gonna try to get to as many as possible to show you how this guy how this stuff works so why don't we plug this in and then we're gonna go to um to the online so you can see what it looks like once it's plugged in so for the purpose of this tutorial what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect the box to um, my phone here and um, I, have, I use the little you know uh, RCA plug to, you know directly to my phone and this box actually I already have it set up to, to start transmitting the minute I plug it in and I could show you by showing you here the front let me see if I could zoom in on this so you see the transmission button I mean I'm sorry the transmission light is blinking because I already set this box up to start transmitting the minute I plug it in so now that it's plugged into the Ethernet wire, um, it starts tra transmitting right away. So let me show you how it looks online. So let me just flip this over. 
So the first thing you would do is you go register your, your um, box. And this is the website. You go to um, zerhex.com activate. So you press enter. It brings you up to this window here. And again, I already did all this. So um, basically, it's really straightforward. You put in your serial number, which is in the back of the box. Uh, you put in your email address, you put your password, first name, last name, and if you want to receive offers, then you say, yes, I want to receive offers. So, but in this case, I'm already, I'm already signed in. I mean, I already registered, so I'm just going to go ahead and sign in. And there it is, my stuff. My information is already here. I'm just going to go right ahead. And now, this is a page with so much information, but let's go straight to where we need to go so you can see how the box works so the first thing you do is if your box is not connected for whatever reason to your account you go to where it says um, device add-on and you hit add device and here it will ask you basically your serial number your serial number of your box my serial number is already here so um, you know obviously I don't have to do this again but you will click right here and says add client so now now that my client is on here let me show you what it looks like when it's online. So right now, it actually is already streaming and it's online. It's already playing on the internet. Um, if I were had to, if, you know, if I were had to hit play over here, you could actually hear my music. I'm gonna turn it off just because I don't want the music to blare out through the speakers or whatever. And I want to make sure I don't have any, um, you know, non-royalty free stuff playing. So let me show you how to link this to your. Um, shoutcast and the ice cast is a little different but it's the same sort of uh, general idea so first thing you would do let me just hit stop broadcasting here I'm gonna stop broadcasting and so I can show you guys from scratch how this works and right now it still says streaming it takes a minute to stop broadcasting so right now it's not broadcasting there's nothing going on what you got to know is that your system is on and it says actually Wi-Fi is on but it doesn't work on Wi-Fi so I mean I'm not sure why it shows a little Wi-Fi little icon there but you have to plug this into your Ethernet there's no Wi-Fi on this box um, so the way you would do it is you would hit at server now in my case I'm just gonna name it um, Los Granos Radio. And the server type is actually Shoutcast version two. So you could have either Icecast, Shoutcast version one or version two. In my case, it's Shoutcast uh, version two. Um, my username, which is test, test. And my password, which I won't tell you. My server address, which is CAS TIFF. And my port number. Now, you have two port numbers in your um, in your uh, uh, dashboard of your shoutcast. The port number you want to use is the second one, the one that is if you have um, uh, Auto DJ on. Now, in my case, I have Auto DJ on, so it plays music all the time. But if you don't have Auto DJ, then you use the other port. In my case, it's 8008 excuse me 8006 my bit rate is 128 um, mp3 everything else is still the same now if I hit verify settings here um, you will get this message it'll say configuration successfully verified with the server if you did something wrong then this will happen I'm gonna put a different port number in here this is my other port number the one that doesn't have the auto DJ if you hit verify now and it's gonna say streaming use that means you cannot use that port, so you have to find the right port. The port is the port that you use to transmit. If you use um, something like NiceCast or you use Butt, B-U-T-T, um, if you use those things, um, you know the information that you need to put in here. Now, again, I'm gonna go and hit six, verify settings, good. I'm gonna hit save and save over here. And now I actually have all my servers that I actually set up already. For some reason or another, I can't delete them. I've been playing with this for a couple of days now and I created it a couple of times just to know what I'm talking about. So right now, if I go and I hit play, there's nothing coming out because I haven't hit play on my phone. So I'm gonna get some royalty free music here and let's just go ahead and hit play on this. Now there is a delay and the delay, you set that up in your, in your server. Um, in my particular server, I think the delay is about 30 seconds, something like that. Um, only because 
I was playing with it and I didn't change it back. So um, let me just see, let me just play something here. Let's see if this plays right here. And then I'm gonna hit broadcast on the, on the board here. And it's gonna start doing, you know, commands. It's gonna send commands. Now, again, if you want your broadcast to start immediately, you could just set this up to do this, but there are schedules that you could do. So if you have your different DJs that play at different times, you could just schedule their um, running times when you want them to, you know, when do you want to, when you want them to connect, and the box will only connect at the time that you set up, the slot you set up. So right now, this is what is playing from the phone. This is the music. This is not the music that I have in my in my server. And now it's is listen, you know, it's streaming live. So basically wh what's happening is I don't need a computer to do this. Now, to set everything up, you do need the computer. Once you have the box already set up, all you got to do is ship them to your different DJs. Um these boxes you could buy them today. I'm going to leave you the link in the description of where to get the boxes. Now, before I go to that, let me just show you some of the other features that are included with the service of this particular box. Now, like I said, it's a ton of features. I'm just going to try to go through the ones that are, I think, most important for you guys. So, you could actually um, set up a commercials log. So, you could put commercials in between. You know, you set them up to come up at a certain time. Um, commercial packages for your, for your clients. Um, you can set it all up here. How many spots? What time of day? The price. Um, now another cool feature, a phone. They give you a phone. They give you a phone number, 1-800 number, so people call in and they can actually listen to your station online. Uh, I believe they can even make requests online, which is actually crazy. And this is all part of the, the package. It comes with this. It's already included with the package. Um, this is what I was talking about, broadcast schedule. So you could broadcast, I mean, sorry, you could schedule your DJs to um, have their own slots, right? So once you, you install the box to your system, you know, one major system, I mean, one, um, one account, you can control it. You control um, what DJ, at what time, how many hours, um, are they gonna be? Are their boxes gonna be on? Which is absolutely amazing. I don't, I mean, I don't, I don't understand how, how much, how much stuff they're giving you with this particular box. Um, you can also have recordings, like I said, and these recordings, you can upload them to your podcast automatically to iTunes and what's the other one? Oh, I can't remember the other one. Um, whatever the other one name is, but uh, you know, you could basically upload the stuff automatically. You could set it all, all up in the interface. You don't have to worry about, oh man, now I recorded my podcast, now I have to upload it. It is all done here in the system. You got ge geographical bl blocking. So if you don't want the music to sound in certain countries, you know, if the, if the music that you're playing is illegal in Albania, you could block Albania, you know. Um, you got widgets in integrations, which is your, your streaming links. Um, basically, um, here, here's my streaming link right here. Um, so they give you, you know, basic, and they give you a player code. So if you want to put this on your website, you could just take the player code and put it on your website. If you are a, a radio station owner, an online radio station owner, and you're looking for the easiest and the most um, economical, reliable way to um, basically have your different DJs connect to your station, what you need is, you need this box. You need the Zurhex box, um, which not only that, but you could actually use it as a receiver. So let's say if I want to send a private transmission from here to another person, and you know you want it to be you know obviously private between the two, um, like you know a multicast, you could send from here, and the other person will receive it on a on a, on a similar box. Sorry about that. Um, so you could receive it on a similar box. So like I said, you could have a multiple DJs, um, you know, schedule. You set them up. Let's say you want DJ number one to be playing from one to two, DJ number two from three to four, and so on and so forth. Um, you could have it all with, with one of these little boxes. You set it up. You you set up all the parameters in it. All you got to do is ship it out to them, and they plug it onto the internet. And once it's plugged onto the internet, all they have to do is transmit their transmission, and you'll get it in your station doesn't get any more easier than that. I think this is a great, great product for that. 
So here are some of the features. It's got a cloud-based remote control. So basically you can control this from anywhere. You don't need to be next to the box to control it. You can actually control it um, from your iPhone, from your computer, from your laptop, from your iPad. Anywhere you have a computer, um, you have internet, you control this. It supports MP3, AAC, and OGG um, at 320 kilobytes, which is great. It's the highest quality is available right now. You can also have live audio playback to yourself so you know it has it does have a um a, a uh, headphone port there so you want to do some live monitoring of what you're hearing out of this which is you know you always want to do you could have a like i said you could have record scheduling so you could record um certain shows at a certain time and then upload them to your whatever you want to upload them your website your podcast wherever you want to you know save it now one of the best parts of it is let, let's say your your dj um he he changes time slot or whatever they actually don't have to be connected to the internet for you to change anything on this. So once you register your device on the website, once you put your serial number on the website, the device is registered. So anytime this device connects to the internet, um, I could have access to it. Now, even when it's not connected, I could change the settings on the device. And then when the person plugs in, the, the, the device will download the settings and it'll connect automatically. So the bottom line is this, if you are a station owner or you're a station manager, and I'm talking about online radio stations specifically, um, and you have different DJs all over the world, all over the country, wherever it is, and right now they're, they're using their computer to connect, but I know it's gonna be other DJs that wanna go out to a club to do a, a gig in a club. All they need to take with them is the, uh, the Zerhex box, transmits, excellent audio quality, easy to set up, um, and you as the manager, you have all the control over the box. So, you know, you, you get to decide who, who transmit at what time, for how long, you know, the podcast, if you want to upload them, you can upload them. What I really like about this is, um, I know, again, because I'm working for the, with the Heights hosting is, that I'm actually going to recommend them to, you know, to offer them, to offer this at, to their clients as one of their gadgets, because what's good about this is that everything that you need is already set up so a person that has no idea how to set up a computer to transmit all they need is to put this plug this box in plug in the audio in and it will be transmitting simple as that guys in conclusion i think this is a great product for anyone who owns an online radio station that has multiple djs and it's, oh, or maybe you're looking to expand maybe you want to have more than two djs you want to have four djs you want to have six djs it doesn't matter um you could set up one of these boxes, send it to them, and all they gotta do is plug in. When they're ready to transmit or go live, the box will be ready. Um, as long as you obviously set up the recording schedules for the different, you know, the different DJs. Um, super easy to set up. And the guys I heard, um, Azurhex, are super knowledgeable. I got stuck at the beginning. I couldn't figure something out, and I called them up, and they gave me the, you know, the 411, and I was up and running within seconds. Um, I definitely recommend it. If you guys are looking for a box for your radio station, this is what you need. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, I know it's kind of long, but it, this is for a target audience. You know who you are. If you're looking to make your life easier as an um, online radio station manager, this is what you need. I'm gonna leave the link in the description where to get the box. If I have a coupon code, I'm gonna leave that in the description as well. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I know, again, I know it was kind of long. I kind of babbled a little bit, but I felt like a lot of the information had to be said so you guys understand all the features that this box offers. Um, guys, you've been watching LG TV. I am Juan Granos. Find me on Instagram, Los Granos. Find me on Facebook, Los Granos. Find me on Twitter, Los Granos. Find me on YouTube, Los Granos. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a thumbs up and share.